Today's video is on Aquarium Gar. What's up guys, it's finally the weekend and I get to hang out in my fish room. I actually am kind of bummed out right now because as some of you guys know that follow the channel, I had some rainbow cichlid eggs. And I woke up today to come check on the eggs and they were all completely gone. So this shows that I should have removed the eggs when I had the chance and I could have raised all of them myself, myself probably. But there's always that battle of the question of should I remove the egg, should I let the parents kind of raise them on their own, or actually the perfect scenario would have been for me to remove all of the tank mates from this tank because what happened was I'm, I'm, I just spent 10 minutes netting a little Texas cichlid and I don't know how he got left in there but I'm pretty sure he was the culprit that fed on the eggs and uh, you for sure don't want to have tank mates in there. If you're going to let the parents kind of uh, raise them, you don't want tank mates in there. So I should have removed them. I just, I was worried about stressing out the parents because when you stress out the parents, they could eat the eggs themselves. So uh, what I did was clear out the entire tank and now they have the entire tank to themselves, a breeding pair, and they are going to breed again. So in, within time, I will have more eggs. But today's topic of today's video is talking about uh, keeping garfish in aquariums. Garfish are close to my heart. I've kept a lot of them down the, in the past and um, they are just such awesome fish. Predator like uh, fish. Um, I, I'm getting caught up with my words because I cannot Dude, these fish are are super cool. It's an elongated fish. There's three main types that people keep. The alligator gar, the spotted gar, and the Florida gar. And the alligator gar is kind of the, the crazy one in the picture because they grow 10 feet long. And even though people aren't supposed to keep them, they do because it's kind of like that, uh, that badass uh, feature to, I don't know why we do it, but you know, like red tail catfish, iridescent sharks, uh, alligator gar. It's, it's just a crazy fetish that people have fallen in love with, with keeping monster fish in aquariums. It's like keeping a polar bear in a dog cage. And it's like, hey, one day this thing is gonna be like a polar bear full size. And you're like, well, it's pretty cool, huh? <laughs> but anyways, um, I'm gonna flip the cam here. I got some super cool footage of, some, of a spotted gar. And I am going to talk about taking care of them, uh, some facts. Um, just these fish sometimes get finicky with feeding and some problems you may run into. Um, if you can't tell, I'm like overly excited and I apologize about, actually, I don't, I'm not sorry. I love these fish. Yeah, whatever. Let's just do this. All right. So let's talk about taking care of aquarium gar. And I first want to start out by saying that it's thought to be that even though people think they have spotted gar in the aquarium industry, that most of the gar kept are actually Florida gar because they're just much more common. And it's just, uh, a lot of people think they have spotted gar, but it's actually not the case. So maybe that's something for you to look into. Maybe look up some pictures and figure out if you specifically have an actual spotted gar or a Florida gar. But anyways, aside that, um, when you get your gar, um, we I find that a lot of fish keepers fail at, at when they first get gar because they are super timid and it takes a while for them to really acclimate to their tank and get used to the parameters because these guys in natural habitat are like, they're used to very dark waters and they're a very, very skittish fish. If you get on monster fish keepers, uh, you will find out the most common reason these fish die is actually because they get so skittish and they'll bolt at the side of the tank and break their spine. Like that's pretty crazy when you think about it. But these elongated fish like this are, they're not supposed to be kept in glass cages, essentially aquariums, like um, because they are so fast that to conceal them in a glass cage almost depresses them of what they're what they're supposed to be doing in natural habitat you know uh, like even like a 210 gallon tank for a fish like this is absolutely nothing because these guys put on so many miles a day in natural habitat that it's almost saddening like to think about what aquarium life is like for this fish but aside from that um 
I want to give a huge shout out to um, to the credit of this video. Uh, you have awesome tanks and you have a awesome Dovi tank. And I want to thank you for sending me this video of your new gar. So um, when you take care of these fish, you want to make sure you have an, you want to plan on having an adequate size aquarium. They are like ferocious predators in the wild. They actually did a study where they found that like, they opened up their stomachs and found that like 30% of what they were eating were other fish and the other 40% was shrimp. So keeping up with these fish is going to mean tons and tons of protein, you know, like cut up tilapia, raw shrimp, maybe some pellets here and there. It's also said that once, once you go like with live foods, it's going to be tough to come back because you know, these fish, when they get spoiled, they don't like going back. And I have actually personally lost a gar to starvation because I just could not get it to eat. It was the saddest thing in the world. But even, even feeder guppies and such just wasn't doing it. And I even tried glass shrimp, etc. Um, but yeah, as far as tank size, guys, um, if you get on Monster Fish Keepers, which is a good spot to hang out if you plan on keeping gar because these are monster fish it's common for them to grow two feet long in aquaria so anything i would say a 300 gallon tank is right up your spectrum i think this is a 210 but a two a two foot fish needs a little bit more room than a 210 if i'm being quite honest you could probably get by i know a lot of us do that with smaller tanks but um the best parameters would be the biggest tank you could get your hands on get the best filtration you're talking canister filters that we're not in the hang on back filters territory anymore these are huge predators um awesome awesome fish as you can see it's an elongated fish they grow two feet long you need uh you need a big tank i've said it like four times now it's getting annoying sorry guys uh good filtration protein rich diet um, I would say a low lighting because these are pretty skittish fish and it's it's really depending on what kind of tank mates you're going to be able to keep this fish with as well. Some people get away with like Oscars and Stingrays. It's very common to keep these with other monster fish like that, but others find that it doesn't work. So it's, it's really a hit or miss. You're just going to have to play with what fish you specifically have because all their personalities are different. Um, guys, <clears throat> sorry, hit up the comment section. Uh, I will be answering all questions. I'm also going to get some other fish keepers on the comments of this video because uh, <clears throat> gar keepers specifically, um, I got some friends that really love gar and are looking to help other people. So hit up the comments and your questions will be answered. Make sure to subscribe and like this video. Taking care of aquarium gar.